Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. And yes, like the video says, today is my birthday. I'm 52 years old. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I know it's been a couple of months since my last video, but had some things going on here at the house. Nothing bad for the fam, well, bad for the family because we had uh, apartment managers that just did not want to fix our AC. Um, and that went on the majority of August. Uh, I was dealing with some issues with my sh right shoulder and arm. Um, and quite honestly, I just reached a point where when it came to getting in here in the bathroom and doing a shave, I just didn't fill up to it. So I buzzed my hair on my noggin and my whiskers down with a beard and mustache trimmer. But I'm ready to dive back in. So this video is is to go ahead and kick off a you know new part of the journey, so to speak. Anyways, um Pretty much, I don't think you guys have seen anything but maybe the aftershave in this video. Um, and maybe the blade. But anyways, for my birthday, my girlfriend asked me what I wanted. I told her what I wanted and she snuck something in. And one of the items was, since my alum block, uh, or I had no alum block or alum stick, Part of it was a Razor Rock alum stick. So I got a new alum stick. The other part was a um, original style plus soft brush. Um, I've got several of them. So my friend Christian, he's coming up. Um, or I should say he's here now. I ended up giving that to him for his birthday. Because his birthday was back on the 10th. And the other thing that was in there was, which will be in a later video, was this. The Razor Rock Quick Change Razor, if you're not familiar. It's a twist to open. Got a good weight. Um, haven't shaved with it yet. It'll be in the next video. Um, nice, nice TTO now. But when she asked me what I wanted for my birthday, I told her I wanted this. It is, bam, Razor Rock Game Changer 84P Jaws Open Comb Stainless Steel Double Edge Razor with the super, pardon me, super neural handle. Um, first time I've ever used it. The blade is a Gillette Silver Blue. Looking very forward to using this. Every time I'd go to order it, when I'd have the money to order it, um, It'd be out of stock. Either that or it was a 60, 68 plate and I want the 84. Or they were all closed combs. So finally went ahead and went on Razor Rock. Saw that it was available. And the funny thing was is the Jaws open comb was going for 54. I guess they had a sale. And the regular Jaws open comb was... 80 80 something so anyways i can't remember if i mentioned the brush it is my simpsons to top trafalgar t3 brush that i got from dennis in that last package the soap which came in the pack is the razor rock black label smells wonderful mmm Wonderful, wonderful scent. Pretty close to my nose. Pretty close, not exact, but kind of, kind of close to the the Panade Clubman, which we will go ahead and finish off the shave with that. So let's go ahead and let's wet the brush and get shaving. There's a couple of new subscribers to mention. I'll mention them after this pass. Let's go ahead and let's get this soap lathering.
These Traf Trafalgar T3 brushes, they're really, really nice. I like it. Um, the handle's faux ivory, I think they call it. But if you're not familiar with these What the Puck triple milled soaps, uh, really, really good value. I got the, I got the orange sunrise sunburst, whatever it's called, which I got from Dennis in a earlier package. And in the last package, he included the What the Puck blue barbershop. So now I got what? Three. I think there's one more, the, the, the gold label, so it's the black label, so. That's a good load right there. Go ahead, wipe the excess soap on here from the puck onto my face. Oops. One moment, guys. Gonna start editing out whenever I run water in my shades. Gonna start editing that out. Because, yeah, I've listened to videos on my iPhone with the and say earbuds are on Bluetooth and that can get loud if it's right in your ear. The soap smells really, really, really nice. Um, and you can't beat the price. I mean, under 10 bucks for a triple mill soap per puck. I think you get like all of them for under 20. So that's pretty darn good. And being triple milled, they will go for a while. I don't need a big Santa Claus beard. I mean, I could make it, but, you know, one moment, dry my hands. Now I'm going to run hot water, heat my blade real quick. I did a video the other day using my nickel-plated Gillette Fat Handle Tech I got from Dennis. But, technical issues with that. Here we go, first pass with the grain. Oh, that feels pretty nice. Oh, oh, wow. Very, very nice. The razor's smooth. It's not harsh. Very nice. I like it. You can see why people are kind of raving about it. I mean, even if you get the 80 something dollar one, it's it's worth it. Under a hundred bucks for a stainless steel three piece razor, a 316L stainless steel. Made on a CNC machine. That's good. That's really good. All right. Almost. First pass done. Go ahead and rinse off here. And I'll be back to mention the new subscribers. That, I'm really, really surprised. Uh, like, four or five days growth 
three, four, maybe five days growth, took it down like nothing. I mean, I could go ahead and walk out of the house right now with this, just one pass, and I'd be happy. But we ain't going to do that. We're going to do more than one pass. Anyways, oh, the new subscribers. Merc 51,000. Welcome, Merc. The other, OJ Shaves. Uh, the notification, you might have picked up some since. Less than 50 subscribers. I will check your channel out. I'll also check out Merc51000, see if he has a channel. And if Merc51000 has a channel, I will link it down in the description. And I will definitely be linking OJ Shaves. Um, channel down in the description as well um, unless something weird happens where you know clicking on their emails I can't do it so Merck and OJ welcome so much to the channel or welcome welcome to the channel thank you so much for subscribing um, I really appreciate you guys just like I appreciate all my subscribers whether your uh, profiles public or private I appreciate each and every one of you. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's get some water on the face, lather back up, and do the across the grain pass. There we go. Take a drink of water. <sighs> Draw off my vape. Today's juice is... A mixture between butterscotch and butter cookie. Alrighty. I'm here, Trigadier. So, I think the carve might be a little bit more on the um, blade gap, the D plate. I'm not sure I'd have to check out the specs on that again. But um, maybe I'll do a side, side by side comparison between the carve and the this game changer um to be honest um i'm not sure if yeah i won't be able to add that sound of water that water sound out but oh well um not sure which is more efficient. I mean, the carve is very, very, very efficient. So maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison shave. I'll go back to when uh, I did the two razor challenge a couple of years back where I shaved with a razor in each hand. Maybe I'll do that with the carve in this one. But yeah, so anyways, I went ahead and with my shoulder, I think I've mentioned my shoulder injury before, but in August, it just flared up and it kept, and it would not go away. It was one of those types of aches that was just constant and dull. And it just would not stop. So I end up in September last month going in for a pain management appointment. And, uh, 
told my guy that I see them. I told him about it, and he went ahead. And he, okay, so he gets up and he pushes down on the muscles up here on my left shoulder. And he says that one feels all right. Pushes down on the right muscle, and oh man, this is as hard as a rock. So he ended up giving me three or four trigger point injections in it with a cortical steroid. One moment so I can rinse my face. Anyways, so, um, where was I? Yeah, so, it took a couple, three weeks for it to completely kick in. Um, because it was in bad shape. It was rough. Um, so, but it's finally been doing good for a bit. And it just, you know differences day and night um very very happy i was waking up and i mean it was so bad i uh now i took care of a stroke victim uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine her dad had a stroke and we took care of him and he always had on the side that got paralyzed the one arm pulled in close to his chest and it bent up at the elbow with his hand coming up by his chest like that i don't know if you can see my hand but that was the only way i could hold my arm and it not kick my butt and kill me so i was doing that quite a lot all right against the grain this razor if you get it, if you get the 84P, very, very, very light touch is all you need for sure. Oh yeah. This is definitely one heck of a shaver here. And the Gillette Silver Blue Blade. Just, there's a reason it's one of my favorites. There's a damn good reason it's one of my favorites. And then, <laughs> towards the end of August, about the last week of August, my AC went down, or I should say our AC here at the apartment went down, called the manager, and said, hey, my AC, it's not working. That's when he informed me he had COVID, which... Fortunately, he made a full recovery. All right, one sec. Anyways, he said, call the office. And he told me who to speak to. You know, I was so hot because it was like 108, 110, something like that outside. And the inside of our apartment was just blazing hot. Fans going, windows open just it sucked so they dragged their feet for a week finally get somebody out to take care of it after i remember the lady he told me to speak to she sends a guy out he fixes it less than an hour later after he left it stopped working and he charged up with freon and ran some tests. Yeah, it's working great. Which it was. Felt nice and cool. Is happy. And, uh. But then it went down. You know what? I'm not gonna 
shave my head before the post shave. I might as well go ahead and get it out of the way. So one second so I can completely rinse off and then we'll apply the alum. Razor off alum stick. I like alum sticks because they're great for travel. Screw the cap on, throw it in your top bag. Yeah, a little bit stinging. I pressed a little hard with that razor. Uh, big mistake. But, um, they went ahead and dragged their feet and dragged their feet. And the only thing I'd get back from them when I'd call them, I'd say, I need someone to contact me and let me know when somebody's going to be out to fix my, my AC. That way somebody can be here. We have a life, you know. And, oh yeah, somebody will call you today or tomorrow. The day would end, no call. The next day would come, go, no call. So I'd call them back the next day. Oh yeah, the, they'll call you today or tomorrow. Well, this went on over halfway through the, the summer, over halfway through September. And I just got absolutely fed up. So I called their corporate office in Los Angeles. The lady went ahead that I dealt with. She got them on the ball. They came out, got it going. Let me rinse this off. But anyways, got it working. And it went down that same day. Well, I said, let me check the breakers. Maybe the breaker popped. Now, if you've ever messed with breakers, they make a loud pop when you turn them to either on or off. And it would make that pop when you turned it on to the on position, but it would just slide with no resistance to the off position. So, you know, I went ahead and, and, and told them, and they finally get the guy out here. This guy back out. The first one that fixed our air AC. And he's all, yeah, everything's working great. Test shows everything's working great. I, I amped the, the AC up on the roof because it's got its own breaker. And it didn't go off. But the breaker down here kicked. And it shouldn't do that. And I said, well, yeah, we'll check it out. I was messing with the breaker and um, I explained the popping. Popping when when you put it into on, but not when you switch it to off. He checked it and he goes, yeah, you need an electrician. So I didn't hear anything back or anything. So, you know, that day and the next day, didn't hear nothing, so I called him up and I said, look, I need an electrician out here today. When will one be out? So they got the electrician out that same day when I, you know, when I called him. And the electrician replaced the breaker and it's been working great ever since. Um, Gillette aftershave gel. Oh, wow, that's too much. <laughs> One moment. So, it's been working great since. So, we're, ha we're very, very happy about that. But, the nice thing is, is past couple of days, it's been really, really nice in here. Well, almost the past week, it's been really, really nice here. Um, went from close to 100 or over 100 degree temperatures down to the 60s and 70s. Um, so, yeah, I'm a happy camper now. But, yeah, um, the game changer. 84p Jaws Game Changer by Razor Rock. I'm very, very happy that I made the purchase because it just, it's a damn good razor. Baby butt smooth. Baby butt smooth. Not, it's close to not being BBS down here. 
but it still, in my opinion, qualifies as it. These are trouble spots, but I mean, it took the trouble spots down really, really good. My face, totally, totally smooth. Um, oh, the panade. So if you're on the fence about getting it, Go for it. I mean, worst case scenario, you don't like it. And I'm pretty sure if you put it on one of the buy, sell, and trade groups, somebody would snatch it up real quick. A little bit of panade. Oh, that's, that's nice. Not a lot of sting. Not a lot of sting. So, the alum and the gel and all that, it mellowed it out. God, I love the smell of this panade. Still got a little bit, about a third, fourth of a bottle. Anyways, guys, that is the shave. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you, everyone who didn't unsubscribe and stuck with me through my break and any other breaks I might have had in the uh, past. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, welcome once again to Merc51000 and OJ Shaves. I will be checking out your channel. And Merc, if you got a channel, I'll check that out as well. I'll put that channel, either OJ Shaves channel, possibly Merc's channel if he has one as well, down in the description. And you guys can check them out. And if you check them out, give them a little bit of love and subscribe. Um, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. My email address is in my about section. Um, Y'all take it easy. Have a great time. Have a great day. And I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.